Amazing. It's gooey. Well, see, there are a few foods it, more pleasurable than a juicy, uh, gooey, beefy one, cheeseburger. Uh, and if you're up for a little restaurant luncheon. road trip, yeah. you might want to consider coming here. We drove an uh, hour and ten minutes. And, uh, I'm glad I made oh, it so. About 20 miles I south of Hartford, in the city of Meriden, Connecticut, there's a little family-owned lunch counter named Ted's. But it's better known as the home of the steamed cheeseburger. Delightfully devilish, Seymour. Steamed cheeseburgers are a unique delicacy served only in this area of central Connecticut, and Ted's has been doing it since 1959. It's kind of been a little hidden secret for the last, you know, 50 years, and it's slowly worked its way out from here. You know, it means a lot to the people around here, uh, just because it's something unique to the area. Superintendent, I was just uh, distracting my calves on the window sill. I still have three exercise. Here's the point. No grilling or flame broiling here. Uh, Each and every oh, burger is hand-packed and hand-crafted using a custom-built steam cabinet mm, where third-generation owner yes. Bill Foreman spends most of his day exfoliating in a deliciously beefy steam bath. Basically, what we do is we put water in the bottom of a pan and we have shelves above it that we put we trays in. One clams. tray has meat no, in it, one tray has no, cheese in it. Uh, we let the meat cook for about 10 to 12 minutes. We take that out, we put it on your bun, we put your toppings on it. We steam the cheese as well. It's in own separate compartment. Uh, uh, it takes about three or four minutes to melt, really? so it's about two ounces well, worth. Utica, and then uh, we just pour it right over the top of the meat. Hands. And what it does is kind oh, of envelops the meat no, in its own it's little capsule. They're bigger, right. juicier, just all around better. Yeah, you know, these burger. hamburgers are quite similar to the ones they have at Krusty Burger. Oh, 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 the no. beef is always that fresh, never burger. frozen, oh, and it's hand-packed into recipe. stainless steel trays so the rectangular ham. patties never get yeah. too yeah. tough. Yeah. The so cheese is hand-cut into cubes, and once it takes a trip into the steamer, the luscious, molten you, lava-like you results know, are like nothing you've ever tasted one thing before. It creates a very juicy, flavorful Excuse burger, and that cheese that really envelops the meat is just really kind of the star of the whole thing, because it's not a slice of cheese like you see in in most places, yes, it's two uh, ounces of good, good cheddar Lord, cheese melted right over the there. top of your Aurora burger. Borealis. That's the best part. I was going to get one plate, Aurora and he said, Borealis. you better get the cheese. So At this time of year, at this time of day, you know, in this part of the country, the cheese is great. I'll be back. You can get your burger kitchen. topped with sautéed yes. onions, lettuce, tomato, yes, and, yes. of course, bacon. But you don't even no. have to feel very guilty Steamer. about it, because I steaming makes these burgers a little bit better for you. Basically, because of the way it's cooked, you know, the tray lets all the fats and oils out, but not the natural moisture of the meat stays in there, so it stays juicy without being, uh, you know, a greasy, sloppy mess. On the 